It's on the cars that they're going to beat us today. It's just, it's just got to happen. We'll give him one more go today, and even if we do win, I think he should be sacked. He's ridiculous. only one way we can go and that's to get rid of the manager. This club, this team, show me what we need. Get Cottrell out of this club now while we have a chance of staying up. Welcome to the QPR home vlog. Sorry it's a little bit late. Um, I had a lot of things going on. Dog going to vet and also uh, I did drown my sorrows after that. Disappointing game, massively disappointing game. But anyway, I hope you do enjoy the vlog. Smash that like button. Once again, we are sponsored by One Football. So if you haven't seen it already, you haven't downloaded it already, the link is down in the description. Make sure you do. It's a quality app for all your footballing needs. I also wanted to get an away perspective again, as you guys seem to be enjoying that. And I spoke to James Allcut before today's game, who is making amazing content at the minute. So if you do want to check him out, I'll pop his link down in the description. He's on Ball Street, but his own content is quality. My personal favourite is an interview he's done with Smith. So, yes, check him out, subscribe, let him know I send you his way. Because, you know, he's took time out of his day. Cheers, James, and hopefully I'll catch you at the away fixture. Hello, Brummy Joe. How you doing, mate? James here from the James Lawrence All Cut channel. I'm also, obviously, a season ticket holder at QPR. Um... I thought I'd just give you a quick video just to say, well, I mean, should I be saying good luck? No, I'm not going to say good luck. And just give you a few little players to keep an eye out on when it comes to QPR. Bizarrely, we are on the same points despite us having minus 10 goal difference. And that was uh, because of uh, West Brom, which I think we can all agree we're not massive fans of them. Um, going into the game, look, we got our first win of the season, then a League Cup win as well. And um, we're looking to hopefully turn the corner. If I'm honest, I think it's going to be a slow death for QPR this season. I'm not there yet in terms of being optimistic about what could happen for us. The squad's young. Uh, the squad's lacking a bit of quality. But we've had a couple of loan signings in Narky Wells from Huddersfield. Or Burnley, sorry. But he made his name at Huddersfield. And Tom Ahmed from Brighton as well. So uh, both those guys, uh, we're hoping they're going to score the goals for us this weekend and we can get an away victory. We've been rubbish away from home for the last couple of years. I don't really rate McLaren and as you can tell from my demeanour and the, the words that I'm saying, I'm not, a, not overly optimistic when it comes to QPR at the moment. But we've got the same amount of points as you guys to get an away win. It would be fantastic and uh, hopefully we can do it. Um, star man to keep an eye out for. It's got to be one of two guys, uh, Abire Eze. He was on loan at Wickham last year, but he's got so much talent. Used to be at Arsenal uh, in their youth uh, set up and then went to Millwall, then came to QPR. Unbelievable talent. And of course, Luke Freeman as well. The uh, weaknesses for QPR he might spot them. We can see a lot of goals. We haven't made too many signings. The only actual signing, apart from the two loan signings, is a guy called uh, Tony Leisner who is from a second division German side. So no huge names and quite a young squad. Um, it's one of those games, if I'm honest, you should be winning, but hopefully you won't. Come on, you arms. Dad, boy, do you look like a killer? Today, son. 5-1 results. Come on, you blues. 5-1. 125-1. Put your money on it, guys. Well, to be Come on, you blues! You know, a killer. Oh, it's James Bond. James <laughs> Bond. Call off Brooke Bond. My name is James Bond. <laughs> you look like you've had a stroke, mate. <laughs> well, I said it to the blue. We're going to win 5-1 today. Hence the reason I put the money on it. Yeah. Uh, we've been playing excellent football. Has. Totally agreed. And goals have got to come. And QPR are going to get battered today. You they don't get battered. I ain't having fish and chips tonight. <laughs> I, I think I think it'll be a high-scoring game. It's just where the goals are going to go because we've obviously got weaknesses in 
defense, well, not defense, but in the goalkeeping area. Uh, so we've got to limit their shots. That seems to be what we're doing. Maz, uh, are you feeling as confident? Yeah, I think we're going to smash them. Really? Yeah. 4 0. No, we've got Lee Camping goal, haven't we? 4 1. It's been a long, it's been, it's been a long time. 3 1. 3 1. Three one. Yes. That's fair. There we go. Seriously, seriously, John, I ain't bullshitting you. <laughs> Not like a magician. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. I'd like you to be 5 1 because you've got 600 quid for training. But we're going to win. I don't care if it's 1 0 or 2 0, 2 1. We gotta win. We deserve it. We just want to see performances, don't we? Like we've seen week in, week out at the moment. Yeah. We deserve a lot much more. The table lies. We shouldn't be where we are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. But it's early days. It's early doors. No. No. No panic. Not panic stations yet. We'll be we fine. All, we all love Gary Monk, but the problem is Gary. David Stockdale sat at home. Thomas Kushak sat at home. It's got to be a reason. What are you doing? Got to be a reason, mate, isn't there? But there's a big reason. We'll have to see. So we're here at the Roost today. We're reversing the tables on uh, Brummie Joe. So what's your thoughts today, Joe, on the uh, on the impending game? Uh, today, Lee Camping goal again, causing a lot of uh, controversy. I, I don't know, I reckon Monk must have his reasons. I'm going to trust him. I think he's a good manager. But, you know, I think we've had a lot of good performances this season. I think sooner or later, we're going to start seeing a few goals being scored down the road. Getting a, we've got high pressure. We've got to get that early goal. And we could punish the team. And I think today got to be that day. QPR have been punished already this season. You know, was it 7 1 at West Brom? I think we could easily put three, three at least past these today. And, uh, uh, I, I feel like it's going to come back to haunt me saying it. But yeah, I reckon, I reckon I'm going to say 4 1. Gary Gardner scoring the first goal. <laughs> Seen that were we? No, they're, they're, they're happy with a nil nil, aren't they? Straight away. Again, the ref giving them everything, not letting the game flow. Final prediction. I think nil nil. Oh, so negative. It was disappointing. I'm happy with the centre Yeah. That was very good to see, but it was really scrappy. Yeah, it was very. One goal in there, and I feel like you've got to get the chip. I, I agree, mate. I agree. I, I thought we'd be all over them. We're not. They look the more aggressive team. Uh, so we've got to change it up somehow. What do you change them? I'm just hoping we just need to go on. Maybe the substitutions. Yeah. No, I agree, mate. Final score prediction. I'll go one nil keep the other one. Oh, that's such a negative Hinton point of view. Hey. I'm not myself on you. It's really cool, and it really does help that they are as well. Because if they wasn't, we'd be losing this game. It's your time! First time we've had a ball in the box, pretty much. <laughs> The only reason we're not losing is because we're playing a poor QPR side. It's a tale of two poor sides, a terrible ref, and a, a, wait, a complete waste of time for everyone. Not good enough today. Simple as, the players just didn't want it enough. I don't know what it was. But they did not want it enough today. We've seen us, you know, 
We've seen nil nils before at St Andrews this season against Swansea, but at least we give it a go. But we didn't look like scoring today at all. We, you know, we usually say, oh, we've dropped points, we've dropped points. We've probably gained a point here because if anything, we're lucky to get a point. It's just the fact that it's two poor teams playing against each other. If it's anyone else other than QPR, we lose that game. We lose that game and we can't keep playing like that at home. There's no desire. And the, the, the thing is, it's like, it's confusing because a week ago it was there. So where's it gone? We're at home, we're at St Andrews, it's a fortress, which we're trying to make it. The atmosphere is there when you start it and it just simmers away. It seems like when you play teams you expect to turn over. You, maybe we're a bit lazy with them. I'm not sure, maybe we are. Maybe we're expecting to be gifted a goal and it's going to be easy because it's not. They're going to waste time, they're going to want that nil-nil. I just don't know what to think, it's just we just couldn't be arsed today and the referee didn't help, stopping the game every five seconds. I'm sick of the standard of referees in this division. It just gets on my nerves to no end, but ultimately it's our own fault and we have to really pick ourselves up and you know, we've got tough games coming up but, but you know, we, we, we seem to play better against the better sides. I don't know, let's just see if we can take our chances next game. Shine. Because of course we've got to be a big goal scoring to him. He's played brilliant all season. And to come out of that game, off the start, we were absolutely bucket of crap. I don't believe it. Monk needs to lift them now, mate, I tell you. Awful game. Two poor sides. What do you want? You an interview. Um, it was a very poor game, but uh, there's always next week, we'll go again. Yeah, get some points of lager. Um, <laughs> Tissue. That's a tissue, yeah. Nothing there. No. <laughs> oh. Ooh, da 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 da